So it's often that you as the database administrator needs to modify the database. Or let's say you're having problems with your database and you have all these duplicate entries. You have tons of duplicate entries and you're like, this is terrible. Or you just need to clean up your database. Whatever, let's get into it. Let's figure out how to find duplicate entries. Okay? So basically we're going to use a technique where we're going to count how many there are and group by them. So basically we have a users table and we want to find all the duplicate users. Okay? We're going to find duplicate user names. Okay, so we're going to say select username, user name, and then we're going to select count. Okay, username, and we're going to alias that as cnt for count from users, which is the name of my table. Now the key here is we're going to group by that username. Okay, and then you would think next that we actually have to do um, well what we we kinda wanna do and this is wrong but you're gonna say uh, where again this is wrong where CNT is greater than one right because we're counting how many entries there are but this is wrong why is it wrong CNT doesn't exist yes we defined it here but it is an aggregate function so if I run this says you have an error next to where CNT is greater than one. Okay? You cannot use an aggregate function in the where clause. Even if we didn't use the not and not only that, you can't use the alias in a where clause. So even if we did this, it's gonna still give us that error. And it might actually give us a better error if we move them around. Yeah. See it says invalid use of group function. Because you can't do this. You can't have an aggregate function in there unknown column CNT. See, we defined it, but it's not unknown. So what's the answer? The answer is to use having, okay? So we're actually going to write having CNT greater than one. And having is the exact same thing as a where clause, except it comes after the aggregate functions, and it allows us to use any alias uh, variables up here and any aggregate functions. So if we run this, this actually gives us all of our duplicate users. You can see these are all users that have two or more. This is obviously bad database design, but you can see that there's a lot of duplicate users. If we wanted to order by the most, we could say order order by CNT descending, and that would put the highest ones at the top. This guy has 13 instances of an account. Okay, So this is how you can uh, actually have this query. Now one thing that you can do is I always um, I always save this. So if you're using SQL Pro like I am, query favorites, save all to favorites and say find du duplicates, right? And that way you have it forever. So if I want to go into say the subscription table and I would go query favorites, find duplicates, and then I would just say okay, I would say user ID user ID from subscriptions group by and this again this is the one that we're, we're, we're grouping by and actually uh, we would say subscriber ID right subscriber ID okay and run that and you can see all of these are duplicates in the subscription table so this is how you find duplicates and this is how you modify it save it and use it